Hello everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for the Mobius Final Fantasy game. This game is just so much fun, I just can't put it down. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit addicted to it. Uh, but if you've been playing this as much as I have, you know that there comes a time when stamina becomes a slight issue. So unlike a Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, you start with 30 stamina, but every time you level up they give you more and it doesn't stop at the cap. There's an overflow. You can continuously stack up your stamina. And right now you can see I'm level 15 and my cap has been raised to 44 and at one point I had over 200 stamina uh, saved up just from leveling up and it's been a lot of fun hours playing but now I have two stamina out of 44 so I have to uh, either wait uh, or I can use one of the many many generous gifts of elixirs that the game has given you that restores your stamina but I'm not going to do either of those things because what I really want to show you guys is that after you beat the first chapter, uh, when you go to your world menu, you will see this multiplayer Ring of the Braves. And in multiplayer, which we will go into right now, uh, you're going to have a completely separate stamina bar. So essentially you have two independent stamina bars where you can extend your gameplay as much as you want. And here we are in front of the uh, multiplayer uh, NPC here that helps you select your games or start your own. And uh, as you can see we uh, have 36 stamina cap because we're only rank 7 in the multiplayer and uh, a whooping 95 extra stamina overflow and uh, you know this isn't just you know another grind or whatever uh, there's really good benefits to doing the multiplayer and if we walk over here to this little mog and you click on him uh, he's going to bring up a list of items that you can buy with the materials that you can grind out of the multiplayer and you can see um, you know what kind of requirements you need for each that way you can go in there and uh, fight the Sicarius of your choosing to get these materials and uh, you know these cards are very powerful and they're definitely worth getting and uh, because the other major benefit of the multiplayer is that your regular cards, your regular decks, all of that will continue to level up. So you're not missing out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it is essentially just doubling up on the regular gameplay. So I totally encourage you guys to uh, try out the multiplayer. Uh, you can see they even have a limited time uh, special deals where you can trade uh, you know, the same type of materials that you get from the Sicarius um, bosses and uh, you can get like, you know, uh, a fire, a level 4 fire card or you can get, uh, uh, you know, 20,000 fire uh, uh, skill seeds or, you know, there's all kinds of uh, awesome materials uh, that you can buy or ability cards uh, so really really fun uh, but let's go into the gameplay so you can kind of see how the multiplayer works a little bit and uh, let's let's first find a party and then we'll host a game so you can kind of see how it works both ways Uh, let's join Shiva because there's three free slots there and once you join the game uh, just play uh, press the ready button so that people don't have to wait for you uh, you know be a little bit courteous as oftentimes the super strong players will carry you and uh, you're basically just in there to get free experience free skill seeds and uh, you know the free Sicarius items that you can then trade for the cards to power yourself up and it doesn't look like there's too many people joining this one. Here we go. Uh, hopefully the fourth one will come in relatively quick so that I don't keep you guys waiting too long. Uh, 
but you have these little e emotes here it's the only way you can really communicate with the other players which in a way is good uh, you want to keep the uh, environment relatively friendly and uh, you know giving people the ability to curse at each other will normally result in people cursing at each other so let's get straight into the gameplay here uh, it really depends on everyone's connection, so sometimes there is a bit of a loading screen, but that's quite alright. The benefits far outweigh the amount of time that you can uh, need to wait. So, this is where the turn-based system really shines. Uh, everyone takes a turn loading up their, uh, their skills. So, you know, I, I get four moves per turn so three moves actually and uh, you can kind of take a look on the right side of the screen what kind of moves your team queues up and then you can queue up your moves corresponding to what they're doing uh, but in this case we can't really do much so we're just gonna do three auto attacks and then uh, most likely these other guys are gonna totally destroy Shiva uh, since they're far more powerful than we are so we're mostly spectators in this one so uh, we've filled up our bar here at the top so we're gonna be able to use all kinds of skills this following turn so she is water so we're going to drain her attack with that Oh, earth spell and then uh, use the water orbs to generate a water resistance because she does attack with that water element so we want a resistance towards it obviously uh, we want to prevent ourselves from dying while everyone else is going to basically kill her Oh, we're actually doing a little bit of damage here. But you see some of these crazy guys, they come in here and do like 300,000 damage and one-shot the boss. So uh, we're quite a ways off from that. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, sometime in the near future, we're going to be able to actually contribute to these fights. Oh, so th there you see, like, this guy's absolutely murdering, eh? But uh, that's awesome for us because we're going to get a lot of the skill seeds. I believe for this battle the multiplier for the skill seeds is 24 uh, but we're gonna find out here in a second. Maybe not 24, 16. 16. So we're getting a ton of skill seeds uh, just by joining these games. And uh, because we're still in the early uh, ranks, every time we level up, we will get even more stamina to join these multiplayer sessions. And we just got the daily login bonus, which is awesome. Uh, 500 skill seed, always good. And a summoning ticket. As you can see, the game is super, super generous with giving you all kinds of summoning tickets, ability tickets, elixirs to regenerate your stamina. Uh, it's one of the most generous free-to-play games where you can literally play every day for hours without having to spend any money. So, uh, you know, my hat's off to these guys. They did a fantastic job. And other games like Fire Emblem Heroes can definitely pick up a few things from games like Mobius Final Fantasy. So let's get right back into there, and uh, this time we will host a game, so you can kind of see how that system works. So this time we're going to form a party, and we're just going to do the uh, quest star one, the easiest one, because we're relatively new, we don't want to mooch too much, and uh, I do want to get the Ifrit Sicarius card, because that's really good for my, uh, my job. So we will farm him, and uh, in this window, actually let's go back here, so you can select this. Uh, you can confirm your own deck, and then here you can set uh, what kind of player levels you want to restrict the game to. Um, you know, uh, uh, 
uh, how, what kind, how you want to set up your parties. You have all kinds of different options, but usually if, if you're going to do the level 1 or level 2, you want to keep it unrestricted because uh, everyone is basically on your level or significantly stronger, so you don't want to uh, alienate the player base, so to speak. But hopefully someone will join for Ifrit, and we'll be able to get some of his materials, uh, which hopefully will help us get that Ifrit Sicarius card. I really want that card. It's going to complement my, my deck for this job really nicely. And uh, let's get this party started here. We have a level 6 guy, so he's going to basically carry us all and most likely one-shot Ifrit, which is always good as I've been saying all night long so far so and if you are a Final Fantasy fan all of these uh, summons are going to be nostalgic for you you've seen them in basically every single Final Fantasy game since the beginning of time so it just it adds so much value to this game in my opinion and the story is absolutely fantastic as well and you know you got to keep in mind this is a port from a mobile game uh, but with a few extra twists added to it uh, which in my opinion makes it better than the actual phone version and again this is for Steam so uh, I will always link the uh, Steam link in the description so check it out I highly recommend this game. It's an absolute blast. I, uh, I've, I'm definitely going to be spending a, a lot of time playing this over the days. And uh, every time I make a new discovery or uh, something interesting to share with you guys, I'll make sure to put up a video and let you guys know. But for now, let's focus on this battle and uh, hopefully prevent our demise here. Seems like Ifrit's going to town in our team. Uh, let's do that. Being restricted to three moves uh, is a little bit weak, but it is what it is. We're still new, and uh, we gotta we gotta work with the tools in our box here. There we go. We're still waiting on some of the teams to lock in their... or some of the players to lock in their abilities. Uh, so he's fire, so we're going to attack him with some water. Uh, that way we can uh, hopefully get him into the break mode where the stronger players can just go to town on him and take him out. It seems like our uh, third player here is taking his sweet time loading in those skills. We're very close to getting him to break time. You can also see there's a timer in the top left here. You have half an hour to take the boss down. Uh, usually it's not going to take that long by any means, especially with these super strong players that are basically farming these bosses all the time. Uh, but it is nice, you know, uh, if you get a group of beginners trying to tackle a real challenge together, you, they give you plenty of time to uh, have a chance at success, which is really nice. Uh, 
Uh, might as well just go full out, even though the fire attack isn't really going to hurt him too much. The graphics are quite amazing though. Again, for uh, a mobile game ported to the PC, it's fantastic. He seems a little bit angry. I, I don't know what he's planning here, but uh, it doesn't look good. Uh, let's... Uh... Let's armor up here, get some fire resistance, just in case he plans on nuking the whole group. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't really play too much of the multiplayer. So uh, the ones I did play, these super powerful players just came in and completely crushed bosses. So I haven't actually seen all of their abilities and animations yet. But it looks like he's building up for something huge here and uh, hopefully it's not some kind of AOE kill the whole team thing. Okay. That, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we put up our fire barrier for that. Could have been devastating. One of our players is almost dead. He's down to 267 HP. He better heal up or something. There we go. Ooh, uh, Ifrit means business. Come on, team, we got this. Oh, my God. That was quite the uh, ultimate there. <laughs> uh, but there you have it. That basically shows you, uh, you know, whether you want to join a party or host your own. Uh, it's really, really beneficial to you. And the skill seed rewards the components for the Sicarius cards and all the other benefits you can purchase from the multiplayer shop. All of that, totally worth it. And uh, it's a really good way to let your stamina for the single player phase of the game recharge as well. Uh, all in all, I have nothing but good things to say about this game. And uh, we're really close to leveling up here again. So let's just grab all of these free and awesome gifts that we got just for logging in. Again, you can see there's another elixir here to recharge your stamina and uh, so much gold and everything. They are very, very generous in this game. I can't say that enough. But there you have it. Uh, I hope that helps you kind of get a little bit of a grasp on how the multiplayer works and how you can use it. Uh, whether you're just waiting for your regular stamina bar to recharge for the single player or you're looking to farm the more than powerful and more than worth it uh, cards, ability cards from the multiplayer shop. Uh, I totally encourage you to give this a try and if you haven't even installed a game yet, uh, you know, do yourself a favor, give it a shot. It's totally, totally fun and uh, definitely worth a little bit of your time. 
Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you guys have any further questions, comments, requests, leave all of that in the comment section below. And as always, I will do my best to get to you as quickly as I can. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.